to a cause that's near and dear to our hearts here at Channel 3. The Denise, the Denise Desenzo Walk to Fight Rare Diseases took place today at Quinnipiac University. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler takes us there and tells us more about the cause. Although the sky was gray and raindrops fell, the day felt somehow sunny. I'm super excited to be here and carry on my mom's legacy and raise money for a great cause of rare diseases and disorders. This is the second year of the Denise DeCenzos Foundation's Walk to Fight Rare Diseases. Supporters all across the state came to Quinnipiac, some walking for themselves, others for someone they know. I have a good disease where, like, I've had delayed puberty. Megan Fleeman is 28, but at 14, she got news that turned her world upside down. Medical professionals got her to where she is today. Now she's helping spread awareness. Like, I just am walking to raise awareness for my rare disease, but also just trying to raise awareness for other, you know, rare diseases just that don't have treatments. The two-mile walk wrapped around the Quinnipiac campus. Part of the proceeds from registration went towards the National Organization of Rare Disorders. That money can help with care and resources. The work that NORD does impacts the entirety of the rare disease community. We know in the rare disease community the need exceeds the resources. Our very own news anchor Kara Sunland says Denise always wanted to start a foundation that gave back. That dream has quickly become a reality. We're fighting for a cure, and it's exactly what Denise would want to do. Denise's mission continues to live on through her foundation. Her words, be open, be brave, and be kind, leaving an impression on all of those who knew and loyally watched her right here on Channel 3. He was, she was the greatest person I've ever known, and she was just an amazing human being who really shined off camera more so than she shined on camera. In Hamden, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Great news for amusement.